this is Rich behind the camera, and we have Pastor Debbie with the LCO Assembly of God Church uh, here that we're interviewing, and we're getting ready to leave uh, after being here 10 days, and so we wanted to get some of Pastor Debbie's input, but uh, you're Pastor Debbie, and uh, that was not your plan to be Pastor Debbie of the church, no. and uh, me and you have actually talked, and I've shared, I'm a little bit uncomfortable with the woman being called pastor. <laughs> You've said you've been a little bit uncomfortable with it. Why don't you say how that happened and, and how God has worked in the midst of that, in, in spite of a bad situation, obviously. Yes. Uh, well, my husband had a stroke first, one stroke, and, he had, and he, it took his speech. It was aphasia, and he couldn't speak. So I stepped up and, and was at the mouthpiece. He was still the authority here. He still was able to do function other than the, the speech, speech. So um, I was a pastor for, I just helped him out. And then he had a big stroke, which landed him in the hospital and took his, um, he was paralyzed, couldn't talk. And so um, I just kept on in the, in the, as pastor. Uh, I never thought I would be a pastor, but I ended up being the pastor. And the, the Lord, it had to be the Lord to really, really impress me to do that because I I, I didn't feel I, I should be a pastor. But God helped me with it, and through the years. Um, and how, how long, what period of time? Well, is he, had, uh, he had a stroke in, in um, I can't remember the dates, but... Uh, 2019, uh, November of 2019 was when he had the big stroke. And uh, before that, I think it was like two years before that, that he had the first stroke. So you had actually two years of him still being around and right. kind of helping out with the leading still and, right. and all of yeah. that. Uh, and then he passed right after, right after that, that right. big stroke. Well, not right after. He was in the nursing home for 14 months. Oh, oh really? Yeah. For that long, yeah. okay, and then he passed away. Nobody came along to become the pastor at no. the time. You still had people there attending the church, and I will say that my wife and I, being here, we've seen you a, a, a pastor's heart. I mean, it's it's clear that you have a pastor's heart. I don't. I think you had the heart of a pastor's wife is what you thought you had, I, right? Yeah. But God put that that heart, and people just love you. They talk about you as their pastor. Has it been hard for you? Has it been challenging for you? What oh, yeah. would you say? It's very challenging. Very. Um, right now, I just live by myself. My son comes and sometimes and stays with me. But uh, most of the time, it's, I'm by myself. And, and uh, the people in church are a, a big help. Um, they do a lot of the work in the church here that, uh, that I, I used to do a lot of. And so they, they have been helping. They stepped up and helped. And so then uh, my wife Carmen and I, we came back the end of June with a sports camp that our church in Arkansas put on right, here. Right. That's come, I think that was their fourth time of, of coming here. I think, I think it was the third time. Third time of yeah. coming here. And uh, so we came just to be part of doing something. We saw uh, some hopelessness, some discouragement. We saw that... Uh, your heart of trying to pass the church and not really having a lot of help in the midst of all that. And just a, uh, it seemed like there was a hunger here that we kind of uh, thought. Since we've been here, we've seen a tremendous hunger. Um, but then we talked and said, hey, we're thinking about coming and kind of shared some ideas with you, some things that we could do to help out. W was you hesitant? What did you think? I mean, you, you, when you met us, you actually said, when are we coming back? <laughs> when we left. But what, what, what was your, your heart in the midst of all well, that? Well, I didn't really know you that well. Yeah. But, but I just felt at peace with when you said you wanted to come back. And the people all liked you. Everybody that you met, they all liked both you and Carmi. And um, I, I felt at peace with you coming back. And just, I was, I was kind of, I was excited, actually, for you to come back. And, and just, uh, I've had a vision over the years um, and I asked the Lord to send helpers in the vision. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I've seen him doing that lately. I mean, he has really sent help. And I believe you and Carmi were one of the greatest helps that he sent. Now, in, in the midst of it, uh, you said that you've had people come in the past and they don't come back. And so you were kind of shocked that we yeah. we were going to come back. Right. Was that was that true? Right. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's kind of, um, I don't want to say what it's called, but it's, <laughs> it's a mentality that the people have, have seen over the years that, that um, people come in, you know, groups will come in and do something and, and they're gone. You know, that's it. Mm -hmm. And, and um, so you said the members were shocked when you, when you said we were yeah, coming yeah, back. Yeah, everybody was saying, yeah. they're really coming back. <laughs> yeah. So then we come back, and, and uh, Carmen and I have talked, we did an interview to, with each other, of we came with hoping to see a bunch of salvations, a bunch of healings, you know, just a powerful move of God. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and if you don't have that expectation, then probably nothing will happen because you have to have it, you know, right. believe that God can do it. Uh, but we, we looked at, we was going to get on the reservation, we are going to get in the dark areas, I'm going to get into the, where the drug dens are and all this stuff. And on a, overall, none of that ever happened. And really what it's been is really been working with the church members and, and the people that, not necessarily even church members here, but they come to the church and all that. Um, and it happened that we were really ministering to the body of Christ. Right, right. And, and... Uh, was that your expectation? What was kind of your expectation? No, no my, my expectation was that, um, I don't know why, but I thought we would go out, you know, like you said, yeah. to dark places. And, and we even had a meeting to have people sign up to be praying, you know, when we would go out. Right, and, right. And when we had that meet, after we had that meeting, the Lord spoke to me, and he, in, in my vision years ago, he said that the people were going to go and feed, yeah. feed the other people. Yeah. And it just hit me, you know, God was going to work on, on the because people. Because you said something, people. because you, you you actually came to me and you said, I need to repent. And I thought, what does she mean she needs to repent? Yes, yeah. And you said it's because we promoted that as Carmi and I. Right, right. You know, you and I and, and had promoted that as Carmi and I are going to mainly go out. Right. You go out, but not the people. And you said afterwards that you felt bad because it should have been saying, we're, we are all going to go the, out, right? The body is, yeah. is going to go yeah. out and, yeah, and, yeah. and reach people. Well, I see, you know, what really happened was, you know, uh, you and Carmen came here and uh, people saw you as counselors, you know, and and where they, where they could share their heart and, right. and, and share things that were hindering them from doing God's work. And this is what happened. You know, uh, you and Carmen set up uh, counseling sessions and... And you were full right up till this morning. Yeah, <laughs> full, yeah, yeah. Full, we had somebody this morning. You know, yeah, with with talking with people, praying with them, and and I saw a heart change in all of our, all of our fa our family of God right here in our church. I, I really saw a heart change. And you asked, you thought you were coming to see miracles. Yeah. Well, the other night I told you this is a miracle. Yeah, yeah. I, you You're don't know how much. At a miracle. I don't know how much you you touched me with that because. Uh, the people were behind me. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm looking at you. You're in the front, and and I kind of say, you know, we wish we would have done more. Felt like we didn't accomplish so a lot for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And then you said, turn around and look at the miracle. And the idea was is, and then somebody else, yeah, it's Tuesday night, and we got 17 right, people, whatever. Right, right. And so we ended with end up Sunday night, Monday, Monday night, night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, of of people coming. Mm -hmm. For evening services for every evening night. every evening. And, and we didn't and, even offer food. I mean, bread right, we didn't even offer food, but they brought food. They brought food. So we, we pretty much said, you know, eat at home. You know, yeah, that way you don't right. have to worry about, you right. know, the meal, try to cook a meal and all that. And Carmen and I felt like it, it was like they were honoring what we were doing right. by them bringing the yeah, food. Yeah, that's what it was. It was, it, 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 it was um, their way of saying gratitude and thankfulness. Right, and then we stayed on 9, 9, 30, 10 o'clock fellowship. Yeah. So we're having prayer. We're having worship. We're doing ministry. Uh, we had a couple people come to, to Christ uh, yesterday. Yes, yes, um, yes. And then uh, and, 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 and we've seen some people who I know talk to us. They, they want to get right with God. They, they want to get closer to him. The gentleman that came this morning, I mean, he, he flat told me, he says, uh, the reason I'm coming to you because I want to get closer to Jesus and, and, and get, 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 do, do what, I, I, what God's called me to do. Mm -hmm. And this is a person who <laughs> I would never thought would be the case, right? right. right. And, and so uh, all that heart that was there shows the heart of the people. Mm -hmm. And you know more than we do. You know what really has taken place or not. You see where it's taken place. But somebody prayed when we were praying, I think it was last night or maybe the night before, and they said, Lord, they the seeds planted us, we take 
and take those seeds to, to the that's community. Right. That's right. And, that's right. and that, to me, made it all worth what yes. we did. Yes, me too. <laughs> It was, yeah, it was a blessing. It was and, a blessing. And it wasn't, and it, do you, you think that was lip service? I don't think no, that. No, I don't think that came from the heart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, God worked on heart this week. I, I, it was just a miracle, like, you know, like, that I said, you know. And, uh, and I, before we all came together, before this all happened, I, I felt, you know, I'm not doing what God wants me to do. I'm not going out there reaching souls. Mm -hmm. My husband and I used to go out together. Right. You know, and since he, he isn't around, I, I don't really do that much. And, well, your friend came with you from yeah, Seattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was such a blessing. Um, we took him to the elderly center, you know, the first day or second day, I don't remember. But uh, um, he got right in there and met people just, just like... Everybody just felt like they all knew each other. Right, and right. So every day he went to that elderly center. They got you out going out again. Yeah, they got me going out there. <laughs> and, and I got to, um, you know, meet with other people uh, that I, I hadn't seen for right, a long time. Right, Well, one of the ladies said she's coming back to our, 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 our women's meeting on Saturday from the elderly center. Wow. Yeah, and what, uh, one of the um, men, he, he has a homeless center, and... He brought some ladies. They're the ones who gave their hearts to yes. the Lord. Yes. Yes. And those were the ones that we were going to out, going to go out. Yes. To reach. Yeah, and we and tried. Our, we yeah, and they were the ones right. we were trying to get connected right, with. Right. And ultimately, so when I saw them, I said, "Wow!" I yeah. can't. It was. It was. It was last night, so it's going to be our last night. And we had tried to see them a couple times right. during during the week, yeah. and and drove out to where they're at. Couldn't get them, and and to see them. To be here, right. and then to see them to sincerely, sincerely. ask the Lord it into was their life, last night, very and 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 uh, it's kind of like you know, like the dessert that God did, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. for us, uh, us wanting to see, you know, we care about souls and stuff like that, um, and feel like you know, we didn't get to see anybody get saved, um, and then to see that happen, and it was so uh, so natural. I mean, it, it just all flowed. It was just right. interesting. Was and then the uniqueness was is it, it it was whatever there was ten fifteen people here praying for him, right. and and the, it was the body of Christ, body of Christ. ministering. Yes. yes, and that was our heart. We did not want to be that it's about us because right. we're going. Right, we're not right. we're not here. We're not sticking around. But we wanted to see the body and and. Uh, it happened different than we'd ever would have planned how it would, uh, would, would have happened. It just happened by God's way of doing it. Right. And I think you saw that. Did you see that? Just oh, yeah, like... I did. I did. And, you know, we, we've been fasting and praying for this, and I know that's what it takes. It takes fasting and praying. Praying and asking the Lord. I, did, I asked the Lord, I just want to sit back and see what you're going to do. A couple yeah. of times, you know, a few yes. times I asked the Lord. Yes. And I did. I saw what God was doing. And it, it's so good. It, it, isn't that, uh, I can say as one who's been a pastor myself, there's the times you're working, you're working, you're doing, you're doing, you're doing, and then sometimes it's like you just get to sit back and you just get to watch what God is doing and working in people's lives and see them being used by right. Him instead of feeling right. like you have to always be the one that's doing right. everything. So, uh, so we're leaving. We're hoping to see somebody again. Uh, hoping we can talk with him, but Carmen, I, you know, we're talking about coming back at some point in time. What do you, what do you, what do you see as the next step? Now, you're, there's a transition happening in the church because there's somebody that's going to be taken over as right. the pastor of the church. But what, what do you see, kind of the the next thing? Well, that's... you know, when when I said this was the miracle, um, we don't usually have evening services, and if we do, you know, we have a few, maybe five people, and, right? You know. And seeing every night service, you know, people coming out and bringing somebody or, yeah, you know. The, yeah, because it's not just them. They're bringing somebody. That's right. And, and then, um, I, you know, we, I kept praying, Lord, continue. Let this continue. Well, one of the other pastors that came uh, with us last night, he's, he, we talked and, and I, I said, why don't we keep this going, our, these evening services? Mm -hmm. Once a week, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He Once said, a yeah, week. Yeah, he said, I've got Wednesdays. So we we're, we set up uh, already to keep it going. All on right. Nights. Wow. Right. Wow. Right. Wow. Yeah. That's exciting. Yes. That's exciting. Yes. So I finish up by saying that 
we absolutely enjoyed doing ministry here. We appreciate the area, the heart of the area. There's a hunger that's here. Um, there's a receptivity that's here. We believe God's going to do, you know, I know there's been people who say God's going to do something. And you always hear that, you know, God's going right, to do something, right, God's right. going to do something. But God's going to do something. Yes, he is. He's doing I, I, it already. I, yeah, he's doing it already. Yeah. That's, that, 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 yeah, that's a good point, right? He's doing it already. Right. We say he's going to do something. No, he's already doing yes. something. Yeah. And he's just going to be doing more. Right. And so we're excited to see what's going to happen. We're staying connected with the people. We're telling them, we'll talk to them on the phone. We'll pray with them over the phone. We'll do anything to encourage them. Right. But what we look at them, we see out of that 15 people, if two, three, four just get on fire and just right. get out into this community, you know, the reality is that what Carmen and I feel is the soil is being prepared for us when we can come back. Yes. We feel yes. like when we come back, there's going to be even a greater crowd to reach and that we'll be able to get in some places that we didn't even try to get into that we'll be able to get into because there's going to be some lives that have been changed that people want to listen to what they have to say because, right. wow, this person has literally changed and before my eyes. Right. They, I want to hear what they have to say, right? And so we just feel like there's going to be something more that comes with that and we don't know what it is. Um, we keep saying that the weather's going to get bad and we're not going to come when the weather gets bad. And now I think it's 100 degrees today, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the winter will postpone us up and we'll be back in another yeah, month well, instead of right. next, next year, so who knows. Yeah. But thank you, thank you for welcoming us in, taking a risk with us in a way. I mean, you, you met us and I think you found out that our hearts were sincere, but right. it's still to, 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 to open the doors up to us. Everybody's opened up to where we've got to stay, all that. To, I mean, it just... Everything just kind of opened up for us to be able to do what we feel God called us to do. Right. And it, it just the, the joy of that and to see the transformation of people and to know that it isn't ending. You see, that is one thing when you have somebody come in and they do something and everything's all good. And then when they leave, it's, yes, it's done. It's, done. it's not going to be that right. way. Right. That's the exciting part. And yes. so we're just uh, thrilled to death. So, and then you got a new journey or whatever that is, right. uh, uh, you know, in another month, who knows what's going on. Right. And, but you get you get some relief to to be able to get back with family and stuff and 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 we've talked that you you still have a pastor's heart and and it's, it this transition is going to be hard for you I know oh, yeah. it's going to be very hard for you so we want people to be praying for you whatever the, the yes. next step God has for you to really pray for you so uh, thank you for doing this interview thank you guys you are such a blessing and Carmen is just a just a breath of fresh air you know she calls you mom. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. I'm glad she does. <laughs> she, she says she's like a mom to me. Oh, good. And you don't know that, that how much that means to, to Carmi. Right. And you're not that's old me. enough to be her mom. Oh, there's yes, not I, much. There's not that much difference between the, the two oh, of no, you. No, I'm, old, I'm old enough to be his mom. <laughs> and, and the and the life. That's the last thing I want to say. The life and the energy. That's that's from serving God. That's from being obedient to God. And so people could question whether you should be pastor or not because you're a woman or not. But the reality, God has gifted you. God's anointed you. The energy, the life that you have. The, he, he knew that what you were going to do. He knew the role you were going to have. And he, and he gave you the health and the energy to be able to do that. And to see just how, how much you do do. Yeah, keeping you up at 10 o'clock at night every night. But, but there's, the, the, yeah, there's energy that, that you have, and I just think that God's, God's blessing has been upon you. And so, yes. you know, whatever people want to think about what your role is or anything else, the bottom line is God has blessed it and he's honored it, and he's not done with you yet. Right. So we're excited to see what right. he's going to do. Right. God we bless you. Please God, not people. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Amen.